Why hello again. Yes, it is me. I woke up this morning and I was in the mood for drawing something. And then I remembered that, yes, crap, I have to do a video as well and not forget this week. So I decided that I'd merge those two things together and do a bit of a cat sketch sort of video. If you don't know who cat sketches, then one, what have you been watching on YouTube? Why haven't you gone there yet? And two, that's a channel there. What I like to do is do drawings of characters and I usually like doing drawings of Disney characters because they're just fun to draw and I love Disney. So, um, one of my all-time favourite Disney movies is Hunchback of Notre Dame and I know it's like, it's not like a Little Mermaid or your Peter Pan and that, um, but the music is amazing in it. Uh, I think it's a really um, touching story, sort of. It's, something that a lot of people could probably relate to and I, I like that in a movie as well and um, one of my favourite characters in it, even though he's not a big character, is the Jester. Now I'd, I know what his name is, it's there, I don't know how to pronounce it so I'm just going to call him the Jester. I had fun so I hope you like it. Yeah so another thing that um, Kat does on her um, channel is she um, says what she what music she was listening to while she was drawing which I think is pretty interesting because you kind of get a sense of the mood that the person might have been in and um, like what the, where their mind was because of the music that they were listening to. Now I wasn't listening to any specific album I'll give you that or anything. Um, what I was listening to was a fair mixture of different artists and stuff like that. Oh there was a bit of there was a bit of Disney, of course the Bells of Notre Dame was on there. Oh god I love that song. It's a great song. Um Second Star of the Right from Peter Pan and uh, Grow the Distance from Hercules and also I won't say I'm in love from Hercules as well. It's I love the music from Hercules. a um, bit of blurred lines, uh, a few big scary songs songs from Big Scary. Um, I just got their vacation album and like I was tossing up whether to get vacation or whether to get their newest one um, but I've, I decided that I would go and get some of their older stuff because it would probably sort of show them a bit better from when they were sort of starting out. They're an Australian band and there's two of them um, which is even better, keep it in country, Australia, yes. going places. Um, yeah so I've got a bit of their song, a few of their songs on here. Um, Bit of Queen, Bohemian Rhapsody, and Don't Stop Me Now, favourite ones. Um, Daft Punk as well, I got their Random Access Memories album um, when I got Vacation um, as well. And uh, it's it's different, it's Daft Punk, but it's it's an experience. It's not, it's not just music, it's a, more of an experience, that's how, that's how I put it. Um, it's the music is just, is literally out of this world, like this, the um, use of the orchestra and um, all their synthesizers and everything, it just merged all into one, it's just absolutely incredible. Um, my favourite song from the album is Contact, um, and it's even got like a snippet of uh, audio from Neil Armstrong at the start um, to sort of set the mood, and it's just, it builds up so much, the whole song, and it's, it's just incredible to listen to. Um, but Oli Murs, Fall Out Boy from their um, Save Rock and Roll album, which is also awesome. Um, song from Bri Bri, Brian O'Reilly. Um, bit of Walk the Moon and a Sun, good, good song. And another um, Daft Punk song, Get Lucky as well. So that was what I was listening to, and that was being repeated over and over and over and over again, all those songs. Because I don't get sick of songs that easily. Yeah. Oh, there's something else random just because I want to show you guys. I got these little, these little guys. I'll try and focus on them a bit better. From a game shop in Melbourne. Got a little Peter Pan. I think they're absolutely adorable. And Jon Snow from Game of Thrones. My favourite character from Game of Thrones. Oh. I also got season two of Falling Skies. If you haven't watched that, get on it. 
amazing show. It's a, basically about um, a post-apocalyptic world. Um, aliens are taken over and they call them skitters. Um, the main aliens. And it's just them trying to survive and it's um, kids get kidnapped by the aliens and get these harness things on their back so the aliens can control them. And it's this whole story, it's a whole story sort of based around, um, they're called the Second Mass, a, a, um, a group from Massachusetts that are trying to survive. And um, there's a family, and there's um, Noah Wilde plays um, Tom Mason. Um, he's like second to the captain in Second Mass. Um, and he's got three sons, um, Hal, Ben and Matt, and he's trying to look after them um, while he's trying to guide everyone, lead everyone as well. And it's, um, as much as it is about them trying to survive, it's very based around their family too. And that's really interesting. I think I, I like that it um, always comes back to their family. It's interesting. I hope you like it. It's it took me longer than obviously than this because just in case you didn't know, this footage was sped up. I can't actually draw that fast. But if you want me to do more of these videos, just let me know in the comments. Um, like this video if you do like what this um, like this. Um, otherwise, um, leave some suggestions in the comments for things that I can do. I was thinking about doing DIY videos. Um, so I thought that would be interesting as well. It'd be kind of like this format, except without me in the corner here. Um, and I want to do some more vlogs as well, um, sketches maybe. I don't know. I'll be trying to write some little, um, just jokey sort of songs as well. So I don't know. You might want to do that as well. But subscribe, um, like this video, um, share it with your friends because you know I want to get out there and stuff. And I'll catch you later, Bogans. Hello. Um, this is me. I'm doing my thing. Bex asked me to do my thing, so thing. I'm doing my thing. Um, I'm Bex's dad, so why she wants to record me, I'm not quite sure.